hello friends welcome back now we are going to continue with the adding categories and rack but before that let's do something which makes our website more creative or actually i'm talking about a loader when someone press login button so uh, in live server it will take few seconds so in that period i will show a loading effect most of you have already seen that effect in my previous uh, upload um, previous uh, video right so here is a page css loader and you can visit this url and i will also paste this url in my description so of this video right and uh, so you can read if you want so the instruction is basically it's a one line uh, to see the effect of this loader use javascript to convert the display property of class overlay from none to none to block means simply you can see the overlay so this is the overlay class for a div and this is displays none once you do it block by using javascript then you can see the effect let me show you how so let me copy the, this code first you can also grab it from here copy and you can paste anywhere wherever you want so i have a folder includes so i'm going to create a new file in this folder let me save it as style.css so this is the first time i'm using a style sheet in this project and paste here so our style sheet with only one style css loader and i have also done a video over css loader if you want you can watch my videos available on my channel to understand how it is working and how you can create now the next step is to get the this div tag copy this and wherever you want you can paste this div tag so for example i want in my index page this is a body right and i'm going to just paste below the body save it file save all and include the style sheet link and here i'm going to add uh, so it is in my style folder right includes and then where it is style style.css this is includes style.css save this uh, here you can mention one more thing relation equals to style sheet save it actually we don't require double dots we are in the this uh, folder include folder and this uh, index file is in the same directory so dot is one dot is enough okay and uh, you can see the this is index page so we have submit button and uh, here we have form login right so this is main.js and uh, look for login form so form login and so for example i'm going to show you dot overlay dot uh, sorry dot show this is just an example so actually overlay is a class so this is overlay class and in main.js i have written dot overlay dot show save it save all refresh and uh, sorry not this one refresh it press login button okay fonts fresh so you can see this is the loading effect i, I was talking let me refresh once again 
once again press login yep once you logged in this error will, uh, this effect will automatically disable or you can disable it don't uh, write it here press just take it from here and uh, once you are going to call the ajax code so before that paste here show and once you are ready your data is ready then you can do like hide copy it from here and paste it here and also here save this refresh so press no problem clock in yep so for a second you have seen the effect once again now let me show you once again not long time but for a second you have seen that effect but once you are in live server that will take few seconds now let's continue with the other pages so this is our register.php page and uh, uh, include the in the from index take this line of code and paste in your register page paste here save it and uh, we also required this overlay div copy this and paste in your register save and in main.js okay here overlay dot show save this once we get data from php script i will disable overlay dot hide and copy this code paste here also save Okay, register and uh, let's make a new registration. And zero. Admin. Register. Yes, that was working. And now you are registered now you can log in so one thing we also need to do uh, in the index page right so this is our index page so this is the first page when user uh, admin comes if set tall underscore session and uh, in our database we have constants and we have session start here so i'm going to my index page and now let's include once and uh, our database inside this we have a file constant where we have a session underscore start function constant.php in this way we can include our constants as well as session so database constants.php save it and once the session is uh, started so we can check user score id right in your user class 
here so login we have the user id user name and last login so check for user id so if once the user id is within says set if the if it is set if it is not set sorry if it is set we will take him to the location and dot domain dot slash in dashboard dashboard dot php so this is constants and this is html public html dashboard.php save this so now let's refresh here and uh, log in once again So this is our uh, now our session is started. Now let's go back to the index page. Yes. It should not come here. It's user ID, right? Save this and I refresh. So you can see you can automatically come back to the dashboard page. If you want to go back to index page, you can't because you are logged in. Let's try index. Now oh, again, you are in dashboard page, so you need to log out, right? So we have not created any logout page, right? So new file and let's save it logout.php and say uh, php include underscore once so look for the file uh, database slash and uh, constants dot PHP if set call underscore session user ID if user ID session is on so we will destroy the session session destroy and get him back to the header location domain slash index dot this is slash is enough save this so once the session is destroyed in your header template where is template and here is your header put the link for that page logout.php and uh, just write over now let's say php and if set tall underscore session user id and uh, let's do a break here so cut from here 
management based error. So if it, if session is on, means user is logged in, logged in, and then only uh, he can see he can see the logout option, right? Else he will not see the logout option. Actually, this should be inside. Save it. So now let's save the prices. Okay. Dollar season. Okay, okay, okay. And this is the index page, right? And in dashboard page, we don't have. Good ones and database slash constants constants dot php so spelling is correct constants dot php save refresh now you can see the logout and once you press logout you will come back to the index page and you to prevent the this page so if I set dollar underscore session and user ID, if session is not set, means user is not locked in, then we will send him back to the header location and dot domain dot slash. So he will be in index page, right? Refresh and try to go in dashboard page from here. So we'll come back to the next page. So this is not the page. And uh, let's log in once again. And uh, so you're in logged uh, page index page. So for this video, this is enough. Let's continue in the next part, right? Thanks for watching.